Senpai. Hello, how are you going? How are you? Who thanks? Might be just us this morning. That's all right. Yeah, th I think there was a bit of a, a bit of a clash we didn't uh, kind of alleviate, sort of thing. Because yeah, yeah, just like a little one, just with that uh, LD is finishing right at eleven, and this one's starting right at eleven. And as, as it goes with the same, because I just finished my level one twenty three, and I still had leadership. Yeah, so that if you've got ten fifteen, you go to eleven, don't you, with leadership? Yeah, so I had to cut them like five minutes early just so I can mm. come. But that's okay. That's all right. As long as everyone kind of realizes that, you yeah. know, it's not going to start bang on time. No. And, you know, as long as it's just you anyway, so <laughs> by the looks of it. That's okay. all right. Well, we'll start. And then if anyone jumps in, then we'll let them in. Yeah, cool. I wanted to do the session, but also just want to try to get the hang of how the system works as well. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's tricky, isn't it? Yeah, um, well, just with all those difficulties we had on Saturday morning with those links not working and everything, so. Yeah, yeah. I, I think there might have been uh, a, a miss because, you know, especially when Sensei was trying to do it, it was probably like late at night and everything, so I think it was a bit tricky. Oh, yeah. We copied and pasted a repeated link or something. Yeah, no, that's all right. Um, If it's okay with you as well, I might jump on this afternoon and watch your um little dragons classes because I've got to teach them tomorrow, I think. I think somebody Amber's teaching those ones. Oh, this afternoon. Yeah, that's okay. Yeah. But yeah, you can still watch her. I think I'm on tomorrow. Yeah, because I think, yeah, Amber's on, Senpai Amber's on this afternoon. Yeah. And I've been doing them on Thursday. So I just want to watch her classes just so I know kind of what I have to do. Sounds good to me. Cool. Yeah. If that's all right. Yeah. And I had a pretty, uh, I had five people in my, um, five to six people in my uh, level one, two, and three class. That was quite entertaining. That's not too bad. Yeah. Quite happy with that one. But everybody else had only had one. So I haven't had a session there was no one. So I had to, didn't have to teach for blank screen. I have to record to nobody. I think Senpai Blake, Blake had to record to a few you know, to a few empty classes yesterday. Yeah, no, not me. So far I've only had one. So that's okay. All right, let's get started. Ready? Set cheap. Sent any rate. Uh yes, ma. All right, quick warm up. All right, ready? Itch ni san she go. Rocky, sinchi, hachi, ku, ju. Me, son, she go. Rocky, city, hachi, ku, ju. Ready, squats. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, uh, push ups. Right. And wide push ups, too. Right. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. All right, now we're going to skip straight to clinch knees. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, and then crunches. Eight. Okay. Sun, she, go. Roku, sit, chi, ha, chi, ku, Alternate elbows to knees. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Scissors, alternate over and under. Ready? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Yan, itch, ni, san, shi, go. Raku, sitchi, hachi, ku, ju. Right, and then jump up. Hey. And let's do some stretching. Ready? 1. Two, we're going to kick in today. Three, <laughs> four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. A leg, itch, knee, sun, chi, go. Roku, sit, chi, up, chi, ku, ju. Good. Side, five, four, three, two, one. One, two. Three, four, five. Good. And then other itch, knee, san, chi, go. Roku, sit, chi, kachi, ku, ju. Good. To the back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. And then last leg. Best leg. Woo Ready, ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. 
ready? So T. Wait. All right. Quick drink straight back. Yeah. Hey. Funny one. Yeah. Just checking nobody else wants to come in. No. We'll get more this afternoon. Yeah. All right. So, uh, like I said, we'll do some kicking today. So, we'll do our roundhouse kicks and then we're going to do some hook kicks as well because it's part of our curriculum. So, uh, if you've got something if you want to lean on, just so you know, take gravity out of the equation. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> Hard to, I'm just too tall. Can <laughs> we move back? No, it's okay. Uh, so from here, uh, so we're going to focus on, now this is how uh, how I've been teaching everyone um, this morning so far. So find them something to lean on. Um, and, you know, I'm just going to refer to, because you're going to be teaching the exact same thing as well. So I'll just tell you what yeah. I've been teaching and then it might help. So what I've been doing is teaching them to hug their legs sort of thing. Okay, into that chain position. So take gra gravity out of the equation. Point the toes. And then I'm going to open up my hip into the position I have to. So I'm kind of holding my leg there into the position where I need to be. So my knee's got a point. So I don't want it to need a drop. I want to try and keep the hip open. Yeah. And then back down. So tell them to kind of get into a front kick or side kick chamber position. Now we can kind of hug it, get them to point their toes, and then open up the hip. Because, you know, when you do your roundhouse kick, your knee has to point in the direction you want to kick. Right. All right. Do a couple more. So we go up, point. Open into the direction. Great. Now we try the other leg. That's the only thing I come up. Yeah, that's it. Point. Open into the direction. Oh, that, that's a good one. <laughs> Down. Couple more. Up. Point. Open in the direction. Good. Last one. Up. Point. Open in the direction. Great. All right. So now, as we know, the next two steps is the other foot pivoting as I open and do my kick. So I don't really care what level you want to kick at. Okay. Wherever you feel most comfortable. So when I'm here and I do my position, once I know I'm in that, uh, that, that open position in my chamber. Okay. Then all I have to do is my foot turns and open and lean as I kick. And then I come straight back into that position and I come back down there. Yeah, so I come open up, kick, and then come back down. Oh, that's a lot of kicking. Perfect. Then try the other leg as well. Hey. Up, open, and then kick. Back down. Good. So this also teaches them, okay, after when you kick and you've got to recatch it to not drop the leg. So they've got to rechamber as well. Okay. So, you know, you come into that position, chamber. Kick, catch, re-chamber, back down. Because you know you'll you'll see as well. A lot of people when they kick, they kick and then come straight back down. Yeah, you can see so that. Like kick sort of thing. Yeah. Right. So let's take away the chair now. Right. Good. Okay. So ready? Now from here, I'm going to do it without you know trying to hold on to anything. So I'm going to come up into that chamber position. Oh, falling, falling again. I want to go low, back into that chamber, and then back down. And the next one will be medium. So we'll go up, chamber, middle. That's it. And of course, when you kick high, my head has to match it. So when I kick high, my head goes down. Great. You try the other leg. So in position, I go low, I go middle, then I go high. Great. And once you do a couple of those, you're going to do your own timing. You're going to try and go low, middle, high without dropping. Right. <laughs> yes, it's good. And then the next challenge, if you want to give it a go, and I gave it all to the level ones of the last class. You know, you sometimes see those YouTube videos where people are kicking and they're spinning around in a circle. Yeah. That's what we're going to try and do. Okay. And kick and then alternate in a circle. 
Okay, on the rechamber part. All right. <laughs> yeah. This sounds gonna be easy. That's it. That's it. What's on? What's on? Good. Don't forget to try that leg back. Good planning for that. Gonna make it even. <laughs> All right, leg shake. Now I'm going to have to stretch after this one. Oh, yeah. So, T, right? Grab a drink for anyone. Wait. I might grab a towel. I'll be back. Okay. Mats. I think the mat, my mats need a bit of a mop. <laughs> last time I used it was last COVID. Yeah. So yeah, mine have been up on the shelf too. Yeah. Kind of packed them all away, man. Yep, they need these anymore. No, you always need them. Okay, so hey, um, so like I said, we do lots of kicking. Um, and some of the kicks that we're gonna focus on as well uh, is the, the kicks in our onsu cutter. Um, okay. Yeah, so we're just gonna uh, chunk it. We're just gonna do sections from Unsu, and if we get time, we might do the whole thing. But there's no promise because yeah. the 30 minute lessons, right? So it finds yeah. the floor. We're laying down, are we? Yeah. Are we doing the, the kicks here, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> and so flatten the position. Yep, yep. Arms in the right position, hips in the position, making sure this leg's not hanging out. So this is tight, tucked in. So. Uh, as a good way that Sensei Grace explained it as well, um, you want the kind of the balls of your feet or your toes touching the floor. So my foot's not kind of flat, it's just kind of up. So I might have to do the other side. This is my bad ankle. So when I'm here and I come up and do my kick, I use that push off because you know the balls of your feet are very bouncy. So you kind of use that to push off with the hip when I come up and do my kick. So I come up and I kick, come up. That kick here. Yeah. Good. And you know you gotta kick with the balls of the feet. So I push up and I snap over to my target. Yeah. That's it. Again. Good. And then you try flitching, switching to the other side. And then trying there as well. That's it. Good, yeah. One side probably feels tighter than the other, right? Yeah. <laughs> Great. Good. Switch back over. Cool. Hey. Yeah. So from here, we're going to put the two together now. So you're going to come up and do your kick one, snap, and then I want you to switch straight away, pause, then kick. So I go kick, switch. Kick. Yeah? All right, ready to go. <laughs> That's it. The first one feels better than the second one. Yeah. You it's, it's hard to find that momentum as well after that transition. Yeah. After when you switch, like, am I in the right position? Am I not? <laughs> Can I kick from here? You want to try and land softly too, which is hard. <laughs> Body weights go up, so you want to try and control it. And it's fast too, isn't it? Yeah. Is there much of a pause between when you flip and then you do the kick? No. Nah. So you want to kind of kick, switch, kick. Okay. And make no noise. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, that was better. I'm just kind of like kidding. <laughs> <coughs> All right, last two. Yeah. Good. All right, yeah, man. Cool. All right, jump up. Do leg shake. Hi. I think I was pushing off my hip too much and not enough off my toes. Oh, okay. Yeah. So yeah, you want to kind of because it's kind of your knee, your 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 the balls of the toes 
pushing your hip up to do the kick. Yeah. Kind of have that sort of action. Um, and, you know, because you took gravity out of the option, kind of use the ground as well as your momentum. Okay. Um, okay, so this next one we're going to do is our front kick, my go. So okay. uh, when we come out, kick, pivot. So all I want you to do is we're not going to worry about the hands just yet. I want you to do your kick, okay? I'm going to focus on your hips and everything. And then I want you to focus on your hips snapping around. So if I kick and I snap around, this is how my hip on the leg should be. Right. So, you know, on that slight angle, so look at thing. Kick, snap, good, yeah. So try to focus on that hip traction and everything. I'll try it this way. Yeah, so do you notice when you kick your knees kind of dropping to get that momentum? Yeah. Yeah, so I want to try and kick, keep it there. Okay. Uh, drop, then up, down, up, sort of. Yeah, yeah. I think, remember the position I'm in, my hips already turned, I kick, and I just snap around. Uh. <laughs> yeah, it's just having that cool switch up. Mm. Yeah. That's gonna be fast too, isn't it? Yeah. So after one, one, two, three. Yeah, so there's not really any pauses in there. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah. Yeah. And then after that part, when I land, I'm straight there. Yeah. Great. Yeah, that was a bit more solid. Boom. Good, yeah. When I come up with my knee as well, I'm here. Okay, so it's across. Too straight, yeah. That's how I want to kind of get that hip right around. Okay. And then nice and high. Yeah. It's like <laughs> checking underneath my foot. Okay. Like it's kind of like this. Yeah, because that's what yeah happens with that hip. Okay. I'll try one more. Awesome. Okay. Uh, next one is this part. So I'm gonna have a hip. So when I'm here yeah. and I do the kick. Now at the Unsu Samana that Sinto Grace said, you know those folding out chairs that you have? Right. Hey. She says you've got to kind of treat it like that sort of thing. So that is uh, once you do your kick, my hip kind of kind of lean back sort of thing, like a fold out chair. Okay. So, now I'm gonna kick and pull back. So everything's in a straight line. Yeah, 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 yeah. Everything's in a straight line. Uh, does it matter if that chamber has to go up through there? If you can't get high enough? Chamber, down. Chamber, okay. down. Oh, that was good, that was good. Well done. Thanks. So that goes chamber back. Yeah. Yeah, it was that, isn't it? Yeah. One, two, three. Oh, leaning forward. Yeah. Right, good. Cool. All right, last one. Hey. Then grab a drink. Hey. Whew. Hard work. It is hard work. Very kicking, huh? Yeah. It's so cold in the garage and now I'm hot. Mm. Same as uh, me, because I'm just outside. Uh, just outside. And there's like a okay. uh, shelter area, a little training area that I have. Oh, nice. So yeah, it's very freezing to do the eight o'clock class. So I had socks on 
hoodie on. Yeah. <laughs> and then basics. So it was kind of it's a little bit the same. And I was getting hot. I take my socks off, everything. And I'm like, whew. Yeah. I was the same on Saturday morning for the kickboxing night. Yeah. On a McGee and then just the belt underneath. Yeah. And the door it's open. Cold, it? on inside. Yeah. And now it's going to be a beautiful day, I reckon. Yeah. All right. Uh, okay. Uh, last one we're going to do, uh, yeah, so I don't know how we're going to do this one, but is the kind of the jump part, the kick. Uh -huh. Yeah. Because, you know, you kind of have a bit of a back kick as well in there. So where are we? I think we're in this. We've landed like this, haven't we? Yeah, so we're in this position. I think, hang on. Do, do, do. I don't remember where are we up to. Um, drop, drop. Yeah, so I think we're left hand. Done the punch there, the side punch in the wall stance, then we do the. Yeah, so left hand, left leg. And that's um, Scorch and Dutch, isn't it? With both knees, Ben? Yes. So I'm here, one. And then when I come in, that first thing that knee drives up. Yeah. So a lot of people make the mistake of coming wide. I want to go, yeah. I want to come straight up. As soon as that knee hits that position, that's when I do the extra part. Because okay. when I kick, my right leg's going to land forward. Left leg back. Left leg back. Yeah, so the right leg's going to come all the way in and then kind of land in the, to the, uh, into where my left leg was. So yeah. look where your front leg is, look where your back leg is. My right leg kind of wants to land where my front leg is and my front leg wants to land where my back leg is. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Without breaking your knee. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Very cool. yeah. I'll try just the jump and the spin to start. Yeah. But just, just check your stance. Yeah, that's it. Check the stance and see if you can try and jump into the stance again. Right leg, left leg, forward this time. But okay, without going down. Yeah, just don't worry about going down. All right. Yeah. So just focus on that that position that's going to get you up and then the right leg, left leg. Almost. Yeah. Focus on the jump, the height, and then the spin will come in. Because I don't want to start spinning too early because then it's like this little... Because you want to just go straight up really, don't you? I want to go up, then spin, then jump. Because, you know, it, what, what's going to look better when I come up and just do a straight down? <laughs> Big, boom, straight down. Yeah. yeah, focus on that knee, lift first. Up. Better, much better. And then getting there. Now we're just gonna try and have that landing. So then once you land there, you can kind of go, yeah, I can go down from here. <laughs> <coughs> Whoa. Nearly. <laughs> now squeeze the core muscle. As soon as you land, squeeze. Really? Yeah. Cool. Cool. Last couple, so your knees don't have too much impact. <laughs> Uh, one more, we'll do one more. What do you do with your hands? Uh, you already be in this position. Uh, so when I kick, I don't know. That's what kind of tuck in. I, I think so, yeah. And I, nobody really looks at their hands, do they? No. <laughs> I'm not too sure, actually. I think when you come up, well, I don't know what I do. When I come up, I think I kind of bring my hands in, ready to land. Yeah, okay. Well, like up here a little bit, you don't want them out. Yeah. So when I come up, I want to try and keep it with that ready to go. <laughs> Good. All right, young man. Okay, cool. All right, let's do this. Let's run through one, two, once. Um, and then we're going to run out of time. So we'll have one chance to do it properly. Okay. All right, ready? So, two, three. Good. All right, you ready? Good. All right, ready? Each. Come in, let's tie it. 
Me. Son. She. Her itch. Me. Son. She. Itch. Me. Son. That's a hard part too, yeah. <laughs> she. Itch. And Matt's sleeping. Yeah, that's it too. See if I can try and mirror you. Me. What's that one? Kick. Now, what are we up to? So we go. High toe, isn't it? Yeah, high toe stride, kick. Punch. Me and high toe. <laughs> Turn. Yeah, yeah. Go. Um, this bit's hard. Itch. Knee. Sun. She. I'm assuming you did. I couldn't really see anything. <laughs> Go. Itch. Yeah, itch. Okay. We're trying to keep that good posture to me. Yeah. San. And then we'll low, yeah. She. Go. Each. Turn around. Here it comes. <laughs> right. Yeah. Hey. Oh. <laughs> I don't know if that is a key out there. I don't, know sure. I don't think that is. Me. Come up, there you go, right, left, right, me, sun. Hey. There you go, there's that second key. Yeah. <laughs> I, I got excited on the jump, my bad. <laughs> and uh, hey. right. <sighs> what lockdown's doing to me. Yeah, makes people go crazy. That's it. Oh. Uh, cool. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. So, you know, like I said, a lot of kicking. Um, it's not never a bad thing, but you know, we just make sure you stretch in that as well afterwards. Give yourself some time. Actually, we did some stretching now, we still got like two minutes. Right. So, we're just kicking that, um, teaching the roundhouse to the side, aren't we? Uh, yeah, unless you got like some cool creative ideas to teach it. Yeah, I think it's good with the limited space just to keep it to the side. Yeah, because not everyone can do it in a stance moving forward. Yeah, but see that that a lot of you might not need to do it moving forward as well because a lot of people probably won't like it. You know, yeah, mine's in like basics again at the school. Yeah, so you can come up with crazy ideas like maybe get them to get an empty water bottle and kick it off a chair or something, or yeah, or a paper or something, or get um uh what I did last last time we were in lockdown I taught a heroes class and I got them to get a piece of paper and string hanging off. Yeah. And practice like kicking and punching that. Okay. Yeah. All right. I was um trying to see you know, where it was it for kickboxing this morning. Yeah, I'll just write it all down and watch the video. So I've got it ready for tomorrow. I'll go teach it in the morning. Yeah. Would you try to teach the whole thing or just the first half in one combo or? Um, I only taught one combo. By the time I got through um the kicks and the uh the basics and stuff I just got one combo yeah i think that's plenty I'm trying to either you do a combo or you do a bit of the gary was or but the thing is you can use your combo and you can just drill the skill right yeah. break down the basics part of it um and then you can do like sections and then you can do you know black belt practice you can do shadow boxing with it yeah um, one move one push-up sort of thing so there's so much you can do with it yeah yeah i like that yeah so you just do um, so I've got up here, I'll just do the basics, the jab, the cross, the uppercut, the elbow strikes, and yeah. then the roundhouse kicks. Did you try to teach the spinning heel kick? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. I, I didn't add the spin, though. I just did the normal heel kick. I um, added the spin. Yeah. Okay. I did, I did last week out in the park, but yeah, just on space with a lot of people. Yeah, okay. And then just one, just pick one of the, the combos. 
Yeah. All right, cool. Yeah. Should be good. It's all fun. It's all fun. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to see if I can get Imi to, because I'm watching those little dragons this afternoon. I'm going to see if I can get Imi to have a turn and see if she likes it. Yeah. If that's okay. How old is she now? She'll be, she's turning eight this year. But I think I was going through the kickboxing the other night and she told me she wants to be a kickboxing black belt. And I said, oh, that's pretty cool. Yeah. So maybe when she's a bit older, she might want to do that. And she can start dancing. Do something that's going to be good for you. That's right. Something's going to you can use for the rest of your life. Yeah. She loves dancing. And they do still get a bit of discipline and fitness and that sort of stuff. But yeah, she would do kickboxing. That'd be cool. Yeah. Yeah. She can train with you, beat you up. Yeah, yeah. Not get in trouble for it. <laughs> yeah, not get in trouble for it. That's it. Hopefully I'll be able to get Belle back this term because she's finished that uni course that she was doing. Oh, good. Yeah, so that'll be nice. Good. And you're back to that consistent routine. She was doing really well as well. I know, yeah, she was doing great. I don't mind the new cutter and everything. Yeah, oh, mate, she, Sensei, she's been there long enough, but she knows all of them. Yeah. Yeah, like she, she goes, I'm only your orange belt. And I'm like, babe, you've been there for six years. You've been through all the carters at least one turn. <laughs> That's right. So once she does them, and she's got that embedded muscle memory, she's like, oh, yeah, I do remember. Yeah. And it'll be good by the time she gets level three. Yeah. I think that's what she's more worried about, though, isn't she? The running and... Mm, just the group gradings. Mm. That's mm. what she doesn't want to do. Well, she doesn't have to do it. Yeah. If, the, if that's what's worrying her as well, then just tell, just take it out of the equation. I do. Yeah. And um, she doesn't, not keen on the sparring, but she hasn't done it enough. She would enjoy it, I think, once she gets into it. I think so. Mm. Well, she comes into a sparring class, and then maybe if you train with her, and she can just partner with you. Yeah. Well, we got into a couple last term before she had the break, and she really yeah. enjoyed it. Oh, good. Mm. Cool. No, it's fun. I love sparring. Can't speak for everyone, but I love it. Oh, I used to, it used to terrify me. Mm. But when you get good enough at it, you do enjoy it because it's like you're in control of what's happening. Yeah. Not just reacting to what's happening. You're, you're controlling what's going on. See, I was the opposite. Not me. I went straight to the squad classes. I was like, all right, bring it on. <laughs> get thrown on the floor, get taken down, kicked in the yeah. head, wounded, <laughs> you know, jarred fingers, swollen, bruises. I'm back there the next following week. Yeah, jarred toes and all sorts of stuff. All strapped up, ready to go. Yeah. I'm always getting put with all the bigger people and the faster people because I was at I was at that age where I was probably a better body for them. Yeah, so I was like in between because I was really tall, right? Yeah, too big to be the juniors. Exactly, exactly. So I was like, okay, here I go. It's cool, fun. a lot of fun. Learned a lot. Made me learn quick too. <coughs> yeah. All right. Good job. Ready? <laughs> Good. Since then, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Thank you much, sir. Good job. Yay. Yeah. Well, uh, good luck this afternoon when watching. Um, and, you know, if you have any questions or anything, then don't hesitate to ask. Well, then Sensei know as well about the clash. Um, what's that? The clash this afternoon, this morning? But there's, Yeah, but there's not much we can really do about it now. The time table is already up. No, I think as long as people are just patient and they don't get to two minutes past the hour and go, oh, it's not on. Well, yeah, you're black belt, so you'll be right. Yeah. And I think I'm, well, I don't think I'm doing a private lesson at Mingara tomorrow with Caden Dawson. Yeah. Is it Caden or was it Lennox? It was Caden. Because she, she told me Caden as well. And then I saw on the text messages on Clubworks that there was a Lennox booked in for a Tuesday, 4.30. Mm, she's only, Sensei Pauline just PM'd me through Slack and told me it's only Caden Dawson. Yeah. She told me the same thing. And then she said that you're going to do it instead. Because yeah. I'll, I'll schedule to teach Little Dragons tomorrow. So I was like, yeah, that's okay. I don't mind doing it. Um, and would I be all right to go in to the dojo just to get like a pad and a, a whacker and that sort of stuff? Yeah. Because I, I think the little dragons, you'll need something like that to, to do some punching and some blocking and that sort of stuff. Well, you could, but, you know, we, we the, in 2020 when we were on lockdown, we weren't allowed to use anything. Yeah. All right. I'll be, be creative and see. I've got the lesson. Yeah, I don't have the lesson plan for the LDs. I've only got the ones for the minis and the tinies. Oh, yeah. Sensei and I went through it, but I don't think she emailed it out. Okay. So I'll, I'll get the email it out to everybody. All right. No problem. And Sensei Pauline said just 20 minutes tops with a one-on-one for a little dragon should be fine. 
Yeah, I'll go to Parker's and but you're saying I want to make it worthwhile, especially if they're going to come all that way. Oh, yeah. Especially, especially for me going all that way. <laughs> I want to make it worthwhile, too. That's what I said. I was like, doesn't uh, somebody date with more dial And she was like, no, I can't do that anymore. I don't think so. No, it, does, it, does, it doesn't bother me. Yeah. So I drive all that way just for 20 minutes? No, it's okay. I mean, it's, it's further than 10 kilometers from home, but I don't think I'll get pulled over on the way there or anything. No. Would you say you're heading to work? Yeah. I will, yeah. I'm just going to catch up on some emails and that sort of stuff. Yeah. I cool. won't, won't tell them I'm doing a private lesson. No. Right. Great. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Thanks for zoning in. That's uh, okay. I think our Black Belt class will be on YouTube so everyone will hear our conversations. Yes, I know. I was just thinking that too. That's right. I think I did really well for a YouTube. <laughs> so too. <my> <laughs> All right. I'll talk to you later. I'll see you, Senpai. Thank you, Senpai. Bye. Yes, bye.